Virginia has so many beautiful fire and observation towers across the state, and I wanted to share with you some of my favorites. No matter what season you choose to explore any of these historical landmarks, you're going to love those 360 degree views, I promise. Hey there guys, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and today I wanted to bring you a very special video on a topic that I love. Virginia's fire towers and observation towers. We have several throughout the state from the far southwest corner of Virginia up through the central part of Virginia and they provide just phenomenal views. Some of them you have to hike to, some of them you can drive to. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you all about them today. The very first observation tower that I am visiting today that I wanted to tell you about is Birch Knob. And that is right on the Kentucky-Virginia border in Dickerson County, right here at the parking lot, which is right in front of me. It's only a hundred yards up to the top, but once you get up to the observation platform, there's 183 steps to climb to the top. It's about 3,100 um, feet in elevation. Now, before I take you up there and show you, I have to talk about the road to come up here. It's dry right now, but I don't have a four wheel drive vehicle. I have a non four by four car. If you have a car or a vehicle that's non four wheel drive, do not attempt to come up here if it has been raining, snowing, oh, there's so many bugs around, <laughs> raining, snowing, or if it has been wet because it's a very sandy type trail. And, oh my gosh, and very buggy. Do not attempt it if it's been wet. I'm telling you, you will get stuck. I have a 2020 Ford Escape. I'll throw in some footage of what the road looks like coming up. It's very steep. It's very narrow. If you have a four wheel drive vehicle, you are good to go. Anyway, let's get going up this trail so we can go see the amazing views of six states from the top. Climb to this point, but 183 steps. Time to go up. <sighs> Taking a little bit of a break, but. Can you see all the fall color starting behind me? It's just beautiful. Look at all these signs. Virginia is this way. You have West Virginia. Yes, folks, even Ohio on a day that's clear, you can see six states. Kentucky. Hello, Kentucky. I'm headed to Red River Gorge tomorrow. So hello, hello. Over here is the great state of Tennessee and right over here our views of North Carolina just look at the pieces of fall color look at that right there man 
insanely beautiful. I actually have to quote Backpacking with Jason, who I'm actually going to meet tomorrow in his home state of Kentucky. I'm excited. But he always says this phrase when he is in Red River Gorge and he has an incredible sunset. And it makes me think of the beauty that's right here. He always says, oh me, oh my. I think that sums it up pretty darn good, Jason. All right, at the big Walker fire tower, look how tall it is. It is a hundred foot tall and it's not a fire tower. It's actually an observation tower. Um, the store owner inside the country store uh, just told me. Anyway, it is $8 um, to go up and enjoy this fire tower. So let's get going and I'll show you the views from the top. is very wobbly. Holy cow. It's actually almost scary how wobbly it is. I don't know how many steps I'm actually climbing, <laughs> but one thing's for sure is I'm already getting out of breath. <sighs> but the views are starting to get spectacular. There's a peak. Observation Tower, it's not a fire tower, the Observation Tower is on Big Walker Mountain. That's what it was named for. The elevation is 3,400 uh, feet. It's 100 feet tall. I don't know how many steps it has, but this is a great fire tower that you don't have to hike to. All you have to do is park in the parking lot, pay the adult or child fee, whichever um, you are <laughs> or happen to be, and then just start enjoying this fire tower and the views up top are phenomenal. Highly recommend this. This is a clear day so you can see so far around. Anyway, I am so glad I hopped off of Interstate 81 and came over this way. So this is uh, Bland County and Wythe County. Um, I guess Withville was the closest town that I passed. So anyway, if you happen to be traveling down Interstate 81, be sure to take the extra 15 minutes to pop up here 
you will love it. The next observation tower that I wanted to tell you about is right behind me, and this is High Knob Observation Tower. Now, this one is different from the High Knob Fire Tower located in Northern Virginia. This one's out in Wise County in far Southeast Virginia, and it sits at 4223 in elevation, so 4223 feet tall and it has views of five states. Anyway, let me take you up there so you can see what it looks like. It's a clear day, so we should be able to see gorgeous views on this beautiful fall crisp day. And a great thing about this fire tower is it is ADA accessible. So this trail is paved. So perfect for everyone to be able to enjoy these incredible views I'm about to show you. Any guesses on which five states you can see from this fire tower? Remember, we're in southwestern Virginia. Okay, of course you can see Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, and West Virginia. Those are the five states that you can see. This is a pollinator zone, which means they have planted so many incredible wildflowers here to attract the bees. And all of the wildflowers are just insanely gorgeous as you're coming down, as you're going around on the paved side. This is actually um, a trail that comes down to the parking lot, but so pretty, these flowers. Here are a few other fire and observation towers that I recommend you check out. You can find Woodstock Fire Tower up there in Northern Virginia in Fort Valley. Several different ways to check out this fire tower. It's a point two in hike from a little pull off. You can also get there by hiking on the Tuscarora Trail or a two mile out and back hike will also get you up there to see those incredible views. There is a second high knob tower in Virginia, but this one's west of Harrisonburg up there on Shenandoah Mountain, and it is three miles out and back to get you up to the top for beautiful, beautiful views. Last up is Kennedy Peak. Now this one is unusual because it has a platform up on the top and underneath it's like a shelter type area with windows and you get incredible views from both the top and the bottom. How do you get up there? Well, you can go a couple of different ways. There's a 5.3 mile out and back hike or you can do a 9.5 mile loop. And this one is also located up in Northern Virginia. All right, I gotta go on record. Birch Knob Fire Tower 
has the best views of any fire tower in the state of Virginia. Not fire tower, but fire tower or observation tower. I'll lump them all together. High Knob is fantastic in Norton, Virginia, but that's only five states. Here, we have six states. Big Waller um, Observation Tower, again, that's beautiful, but the views are not as expansive. Kennedy Peak at that Observation Tower, again, gorgeous, and you could stay in there if you needed to, to camp. Uh, High Knob, um, that's up in Northern Virginia, again, beautiful, but I just don't think any of them can beat this. So it's not often I go on record saying what my favorites are because there's so many amazing places to choose from. But guys, you got to get up this way to southwestern Virginia. It's worth the drive. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of all of these fire towers and observation towers. I think it's a fun thing to do as you're traveling around the state to other hikes seek them out. Another thing that I'm starting to do is the covered bridges. Virginia has amazing covered bridges. So yeah, just another thing to do to make the experience more memorable when you're hiking and traveling. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this one. If you're into hiking, backpacking, camping, exploring, consider subscribing to the channel. That's what I'm all about, about going and seeing the beauty of all of these amazing states across our country. I don't have time to sit still. I've got like that wild exploring spirit in my blood. And the more that I'm on the go and see more and more of our beautiful country, I'm just like blessed beyond words. Anyway, appreciate you coming along with me and experiencing all of this. See you guys on the next video.